Hi guys, Julie from Passworld. Today I have amazing news for you. The mobile app is finally there. I know, it's amazing. And it's there for iOS, Android, the free plans, the paid plans. It's like a Christmas gift, but at the beginning of the new year. Let's check it. All right, before we start the setup, let's first download the app. Since I'm using an iPhone, I'm going to go to the App Store. Simply enter Passbolt. You'll be prompted with the Passbolt Password Manager app and download it. Once it's downloaded, open the app and select I have an existing account. For more convenience, I already opened my existing account in the browser. Now I'm prompted to go to the user settings. Let's go to the settings and then go to the mobile setup part. The ID here is to transfer my existing account to my mobile phone. Enter your password again. Allow your mobile phone to use the camera. We use a set of QR codes to transfer the private key related to the user account to the mobile. Passbolt is based on an end-to-end -end public key cryptography and a unique PGP private key is associated with each user account. And voila, this is done. All right, focus now on the mobile app alone. To access my account, I have to enter my passphrase again. But you know what? This is the only time you will have to enter your passphrase. Because yes, we can use the biometrics. So yes, I want to allow Face ID. And there you go. Here I have access to all my passwords. Before we get started, I just want to do something that makes life a little bit easier, which is the autofill of passwords. To do this, I'm going to go to the settings and then check the autofill option and go to the settings of my phone because this is prompted. And there, I'm gonna simply say that Passbolt is authorized for autofill. The cool thing is that the app comes with a dark theme or a light theme, and it simply follows the default setting that you have set in your phone. So I'm using the dark theme because I really love it. But if I want to switch to the light team, I simply go to the settings in my phone, switch to light, and it's changing the app. Wow, isn't that great? I love it. But I'm going to switch to the dark team because, yeah, I just yeah love it. I think I showed you enough of the settings. So now let's see what the app can do. All right, so let's select an existing password. I can copy the username. I can see the password but I can also edit it thanks to the three dot menu on the top right. I can change the name, the username, the URL, or even the password itself thanks to the generator. Once you're happy with the password generated, simply save the password. Let's just say I want to create a password from my mobile. I hit the create button. I give it a name. I set a URL, a username. I set a new password. And when everything is ready, I save it. The cool thing is that any action taken via the mobile app will be reflected instantly inside the workspace. So if I check my interface inside the browser, I can see the new password that I created. I think we can agree this was kind of a stupid password. So let's just delete it. Access the three dot menu on the top right and simply hit the delete button. If you have a lot of passwords and have difficulties finding the one you need, simply use the search function. I showed you at the beginning of the video how to enable the autofill. The autofill works with the app that you have installed on your mobile and for which you have existing credentials inside Passbolt. But this also works if you want to connect to an existing account with a browser. To prompt the autofill, click on the field and when the keyboard appears, Click on Passwords and select the password that is prompted at the top. No need to remember any password anymore. How cool is that? Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Please let us know what you think. Feel free to give us a review and I will see you next time.